Very good morning, my friends. How are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So this week is going very well so far for the premium group members. And as we can see, these are the signals that we have sent in the Forex premium group. And look at that. All of the signals, thankfully, uh, almost all of them have reached the take profit levels. Uh, I think NZDCHF is going to soon hit the take profit uh, level number two and um euro and city as well is almost there to hit the take profit number two as well and please notice also that we we had to close few of these signals in a very tiny small losses such as 17 pips of loss and here as well 11 pips of loss and 20 pips of loss of course all of that compared to these big giant profits uh we have made and still going on and yesterday also we had the same thing we had also some good results as we can see Eurocad hitting 50 pips of profit on take profit number two and other signals also reached the take profit levels and also the small losses and the losses guys by the way is very normal thing you can never expect any service with fully 100 percent profits uh profitable signals of course there will be some small tiny losses sometimes of course this is happening because we are seeing the market going against our direction since we are really depending on the price action when sending these signals and I want to highlight so, uh, to one thing. Um, it's really preferable that you can use our signals as a confirmation of your own analysis. So please don't just copy the signals blindly. Always, I really advise everyone to look at the chart and you can just, for example, look at the Euro USD. And if our signal matches with your own analysis, then you can trust the signal more. However, I really advise that everyone can learn more uh, the signals and just don't, don't don't just copy them and use them to make money of course you can also learn the reason behind each and every signal and you can analyze it yourself to know if you should enter this signal or not so i believe we are doing very well and i'm really so proud of our work so far in the premium, premium group so if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact our support you can find their contact details in the description below this video contact them today and hopefully we will see you there now let's take a look at the market and see what's uh, happening so far and what are the setups that are actually waiting for us and what are the opportunities that we can take from this market so far this week um of course i'm very happy and i'm very proud uh, of my own work and my analysis and actually almost all of the signals have actually been triggered and going in a, in a very good profit uh, one of them is of course the euro usd euro usd has reversed just like guys really one pip only from the entry level of course i'm gonna take the full credit of this signal and i would say that the signal has made so far about um 90 pips of profit currently running in 65 pips of profit so the analysis for the euro usd was accurate um now next what's gonna happen next of course the first thing we can notice is that the pair is if we draw here a fibonacci retracement like this we can see that the pair right now is trying to break out from the Fibonacci 50 retracement. And we can notice that the market has rec recently tried several times to break out from that level. However, it has failed each and every time. But however, right now with the weakness of the USD dollar index, and I think with this strong bullish momentum, it seems like the Euro USD is actually going to continue the rise. If we go to the daily candles, um, actually guys i have to delete this so it's not gonna confuse everyone so we can see the chart clearly now what we can see right here is we had here a support zone as we can see like that and the market has indeed reversed right from that level and if we check right here we are having here a resistance trend line what happened recently is that this resistance trend line and remember i am on the daily chart so this resistance trend line has recently been breaking out from with this uh, bullish breakout candle and what we see right here is a retest of that broken resistance trend line seems like the market has actually made a support trend line and seems like now it's gonna actually retest that broken resistance and then it's gonna fly its way up at least to hit the top of the resistance right here the peak of the resistance at one one point double two eight three five now let's go back to the four hour time frame on the four hour time frame we can see it actually much more clearer right now this is the resistance trend line we, we, we just talked about. And this is the bullish breakout. And that right uh, right here, what we can see is the, the new support trend line with, it, with, with, a, with a single attempt. So this is attempt number one. Now, our best chance, 
if we want to enter this trade again for those who have missed entering this signal um, we can actually wait for a second attempt of the support because right here we're having here a support number one so our hope that if you guys want to enter this signal again and don't miss this good entry um, let's just wait for another attempt on a support number two and from that point we can start again buying the euro usd so that being said let me just mark for you that right here we can start again buying the pair and it's going to happen exactly on we can start again by using the euro usd at 1.21363 and the safe zone should be ranging just at, right here till the previous entry where, where we actually have originally entered the signal so let's talk about 45 pips i would say which is really fair enough let me just actually we can use this one or let me delete it better so let me just uh, delete for you uh, uh, delete for you draw for you the new zone and the take profit level if in this case we enter this signal as i said before this is going to be the uh, take profit level so we are aiming about 140 pips profit from this signal take profit is going to be 1.2760 um, let's say so there goes your uh, next signal for the euro usd and i really hope it's gonna work very well by the way i honestly think that the euro usd with a strong bullish momentum is gonna continue the fly immediately so if you don't mind about it you can start buying the uh, euro usd right away and you can expect from the pair to go about 18 pips against your direction but however i don't think it's gonna go uh, more than that uh, seems like the pair actually has made here a good price action indicates a continuation in the growth so therefore i believe actually yes look at it it's rising i believe euro usd is actually going to continue the rise but however this is going to be our safest option if you want to enter this trade again and let's hope for another attempt of the support now the pound usd look at that that's amazing i'm very happy about it and i'm very proud of my own analysis about it uh, pound usd has actually been triggered as well from the buy order exactly from the level i have mentioned in the weekly analysis video guys i'm not showing off i just deserve this credit because it's my hard work and i work hard for it worked hard for it and i believe all the other signals providers or the uh, channels owners they are doing the same like what i'm doing so um Pound USD is going so far in 120 pips of profit. I really hope every, everyone have taken this signal from my last weekly analysis video. Now, the Pound USD seems like it's going to continue climbing its way to hit our take profit level. However, um, if we want, of course, to enter or re-enter this signal again, uh, we can go back to the one hour time frame. And we can notice right here we're having here one single attempt of a resistance so therefore our only chance if we want really to enter this trade again is to wait for another pullback and from that pullback level we can start again buying and hopefully it's gonna uh, climb its way to the take profit level so that being said let me just delete the old signal and let's see where we can start again buying the pound usd if in case we have missed this signal now look at here we are having here this previous resistance and this is strong bullish breakout candle and right here we can also see a support number one so what we can really hope for for the pair to reverse or make a pullback after hitting the resistance right here at 1.41060 um, and after that the pair might fall again to create support number two right here on the same level of the previous support and from that point the pound usd is going to continue the growth so therefore uh, we have to wait for the pair to fall for another 17 pips before it's going to be valid for the buy there is a slight chance that the pair might reach this level after, uh, at the time i end this video so 1.40898 um, that's going to be our level to start buying the pair and of course the safe zone should be ranging just below that support level so that being said this is going to be our safe zone and for the take profit level of course it's going to remain the same from the weekly analysis video guys the same take profit level we are going to keep so the profit should be about 69 or 70 pips, pips of profit again i think the pound usd is actually going to continue uh, the rise immediately uh, without making any pullbacks but however this is our good chance if we want to make this signal i have to uh, to give this to the, the safe option because i cannot tell you to start buying at the top of the resistance because that's going to be risky so therefore 
um, the best thing we can best thing we can do is wait for the pullback before buying. AUD USD. The AUD USD signal. <coughs> sorry. The AUD USD signal hasn't been triggered, and the pair has went all of the way directly to the take profit level, making this signal uh, invalid. So therefore, let's see what we can do next with the AUD USD. Now, of course. Uh, very similar to the other pre previous pairs, we can notice right here uh, a strong momentum uh, in the bullish momentum, of course, and the growth. And seems like the the AUD USD actually has made here two attempts to break out from that level to make a bearish breakout to retest the broken support level at uh, 0 0.78715. But however, the pair or the bullish momentum is much stronger for the AUD USD, and seems like the pair is actually going to continue the rise. So where we can start again by the pair, of course, the same thing I, uh, we mentioned in the previous pairs, we can start again buying the AUD USD at the second attempt of the support. So by looking at the one hour time frame, we can notice that right here, we're having the, re the broken resistance. And right here, that resistance has become a support. So these candles, these four candles representing support number one, and we can expect from the AUD USD to fall again to create support number two. Actually, the idea is very similar to the other previous pairs. So that being said, of course, we have to wait for the AUD USD to fall for another 20 bips before it's going to be valid for the buy. So therefore, AUD USD for the buy as 0 0.78912. And of course, the safe zone should be ranging just uh, till the previous support level or a little bit below it. Why below it? Because it actually might reverse and hit that support level. And from that point, it actually might reverse and continue the growth. In general, in my opinion, the AUD USD is going to continue the growth. Uh, it's just a matter of where we can start actually buying the pair. So uh, this is the pair. This is the level where, where we can start buying the AUD USD. Now for the target, let's go to the daily candles. Actually, we have to delete this old one. Um, this is the safe zone, right? I'm just, go yeah, okay. So let's go to the daily candles and look, let's look at the left. Sorry, guys, one second. So here, as you can see, guys, this is uh, the current time and I'm going to zoom in right here. Exactly right here, like that. Perfect. So we are actually, actually aiming the peak of the resistance right here at 0 0.79890. That's going to be actually our new target for uh, the AUD USD because if the pair is going to reverse right from that level, we can expect to make about 140 pips profit from this signal. So let me just be sure. Perfect. Yes, that's right. So the take profit level for the AUD USD is going to be 0 0.79863. There goes your signal for the AUD USD. And again, guys, if the pair has went all the way to hit the take profit level immediately without actually triggering our our uh, trade, then please do not take this signal. What happened? I think I deleted by mistake the line here uh, like this, I think, right? Seven, eight. Yes. So there goes your signal for the AUD USD. And I really hope it's going to work very well and bring us good profits. Now look at, let's look at the USD CAD. USD CAD has also been triggered successfully from the same level I mentioned that we can start short the pair at. Where is the text? Oh yeah, here it is. The text is right there. And that's what makes me sometimes really hate me to trader. It just confuses everyone. So I believe the trade is going very well. Also, uh, USD CAD is going in the deep profit and so far running in 45 pips. I really hope you guys have taken this signal and making good profits using uh, using them. So uh, the pair is so far uh, almost 52 pips far away from uh, reaching our take profit level. Now, the problem here is that the USD CAD has already made several, uh, two attempts actually, has made two attempts. We are already have here a resistance, number one. And right here, resistance number two. So that means that the pair with this price action indicates that the pair actually going to continue the fall. So therefore, what we can do next, <clears throat> no, not, nothing actually. Uh, let's just go to the one, one hour time frame. And let me tell you that if you guys have missed entering this signal, our only hope is to wait for another pullback. And we can start again shorting the USD card right here from 1.26135. 
Uh, other than that, I, I really doubt that the USD CAD gonna rise again. Uh, the the bearish momentum seems quite strong, and as we can see, this level here I have mentioned. We, we here we can see here we have a, we had here a resistance number one. Look at that. The very same level was actually a strong key support level. Hmm, interesting. That means this level is quite strong and seems like the pair might actually be ranging. Uh, near this zone right here before it's going to continue the fall because as we can see right here we had here a broken support level and look at that the pair is struggling uh, to break out from the same level because we had here on the same area this is so messy we had here resistance support resistance support support resistance so the idea is that the pair is ranging at that level so if we want to short the USD CAD again our best chance is to wait for another pullback and then start shorting again joining the track on this trade so um if you want to sell again at 1.26 triple one that's gonna be our uh, good chance and of course for the same level uh, the safe zone it's gonna be the same this is only for this for the late entry and of course guys you can calculate it to be about 50 pips if you guys enter this trade late however uh, the take profit level is gonna remain the same and we are aim. Oh, that is so messy. That's so. Um, I really can't understand. Okay, yeah, this is the second one. So we can aim about 61 pips profit from this trade. So there goes your signal for the USD CAD, and I really hope it's gonna continue to be a very good one. USD JPY. USD JPY has also been triggered exactly from the same level I have given, and I'm very happy about that. USD CAD. Ha sorry, USD JPY has went in total of 70 two pips of profit but however right now currently running in 37 pips of profit now the bearish momentum seems stronger for the USDJPY if we go to the daily candles um, I don't want to delete this signal let me just keep it because we are still gonna use it um, it's a rule guys whenever you have a strong bearish momentum or a bearish trend when you see a resist or a support with a single attempt on a bearish trend or a downtrend always keep in mind that most likely in 99 percent of the time that support is going to have a second attempt if you if you back check the history that has happened every single time look at the market here look at this chart every single support had at least a second attempt here we had second attempt here this support had a second attempt this support has several attempts this support here had actually three attempts this support right here had two attempts this support right here had more attempts this support here and this support here and this support here so the criteria here is that every single support on a bearish trend or a downtrend is going to definitely have a second attempt that is what we can we can see right here if we backtest the, the history of the usd jpy actually this is one of the ways to trade forex is to when you are in a bearish trend you can look for the uh, target to be as your second attempt of the support so since we are selling right here on the bearish trend or a downtrend since we are selling on the resistance our take profit level is always has to be the first attempt of the support because most likely as i said before the market is gonna fall all the way to create support number two what's gonna happen next <clears throat> what's gonna happen next after this i really don't care since i have gotten out of this trade with good profit so therefore uh, i believe usdgpo is going to continue the fall so therefore if you guys have not entered this signal you can actually enter it right away because right here we are on the very same zone of the resistance right here at 105.635 so therefore USD GPY signal remains the same I cannot really change much about it because the pair is just about 30, 30 pips away from the entry level not making it worth to make any changes for the signal or making another entry so it goes it's going very well and I believe it's gonna continue to be a very good signal now let's take a look at the USD CHF USDCHF was actually the only signal that hasn't worked well at all and sadly it has actually uh, gotten out of the safe zone and right now it's actually going in uh, in loss but however this is as I said before is normal one out of uh, seven has failed which is really normal so now let's see what we, what we can do next with the USDCHF now if we look at the USDCHF we need to actually draw let's go to the daily candles 
and let's draw right here a Fibonacci retracement. Now we can see right here that the pair is actually has made the breakout from the Fibonacci retracement number 50 and this is strong bull, uh, bullish candle seems like it's going to continue but however uh, if if we look at the general plot or the general picture of the USDCHF we can notice that right here we had a strong a very strong support zone just like this and seems like the USDCHF with this strong with this strong uh, bearish momentum seems like it's gonna eventually fail and continue the fall all the way to the uh, support right here remember guys remember guys what i just told you about the bearish trends or the downtrends every single downtrend there will be at least second attempt of any support if we look at this uh, downtrend we can notice that this right here this support level has only one single attempt and this right here we ha is ha it has also one single attempt making me believe that most likely the pair actually gonna hit fibonacci 61.8 because right here we have here a resistance number one this reverse right here indicates a reverse uh, a resistance number one so our good chance to start shorting the usdchf again is gonna be on the very same level of the fibonacci 61.8 creating resistance number two and after that the pair is actually going to continue the fall now let me just say something as i said before it's just 99 percent of the time that this has happened actually you know something i would downgrade this i'm going to make it 90 percent of the time i don't want to make it a rule in forex there is nothing called a rule there is nothing called a must be so since i told you that this support level has single attempt it doesn't mean that the market is forced to go down to create support number two it's not a must be it's not something that should happen no matter what it's something that that just it, we are just talking about talking about the 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 behavior of the market that this is most likely happening almost all of the times it, however it doesn't mean that it has to happen so therefore all of these are just analysis and we are doing our best to catch the best moment and the places to start shorting the pair so please uh, be caution be careful uh, sorry uh, trade with extra caution and be careful when you are trading and be always aware that there is a chance to lose the trades so therefore uh, USTCHF should be good for the short at 0 0.90890 and the take profit level this time is gonna be if I'm not mistaken the bottom of this support level so we are actually gonna aim 222 pips of profit uh, I really don't think this is gonna happen this week but however as we can see the pair has actually rose uh, quite fast in just two days so nobody knows what was, what's going to happen next so the tech, the tech profit level 0 0.88686 very nice number and for the safe zone the safe zone should be ranging just a little bit above that resistance right here so we are talking about uh, that's, that's actually quite a lot um yep that should be fine just like this 62 pips i would say and i hope it's not gonna happen uh i think the pair is actually gonna start the fall right away after hitting our uh, entry level however guys please be extra careful when, when you are trading the pair if you notice that the strong bullish momentum has continued then please exit this trade and don't stay in it so hopefully this signal is gonna work very well and will bring us lots of profits now of course let's take a look at the gold now for the gold the gold is still actually ranging at exactly my sell level however we can see that the gold actually has entered the safe zone for a few pips but however the pair right now currently at the time of making this video is still ranging at the exact entry level at 1805.07 now what's gonna happen next now if we go to the daily candles we can notice that right here this price action uh actually this candle is gonna expire very shortly i mean look at the time now in dubai time it's um, 11 41 uh, pm and this candle is actually gonna expire in just two hours and if i'm not mistaken uh this candle right here usually indicates a continuation uh, sorry uh, this candle usually indicates a bearish reversal if the candle is, is going to close like this so i believe that the market is indeed going to continue the fall now my only here my only issue right here is this uh price action right here which seems like the continuation in the 
in the in the in the bullish reversal it seems like the market has actually made right here a strong support zone but however if we look at the history of this gold chart we can notice that right here every time the market has made similar price actions the market actually uh, continued the fall every single time even right here we can notice this price action here indicates a continuation in the growth however the gold continue the fall the gold usually falls because of the strength of the USD dollar but however I believe this time the gold is actually going to continue the fall I don't see any 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 reason for the gold to actually rise at this moment but however there is something we have to mention that we have to change the take profit levels and we have to change also the entry levels as well so after deciding that the pair most likely seems like it's gonna continue the fall let's see where we can actually start uh, the sell again and where we can make our new take profits levels so let's go back to the four hour time frame so on the four hour time frame we can see that the the gold actually has reversed right here at the previous level of the support at 1815.35 now if i'm not mistaken and hopefully i'm right uh, we can expect from the usd uh, sorry the gold to, for, to reverse exactly at the very same level right here when it creates a resistance number two because right here we already had a resistance number one so that being said the new sell level for the gold let me just uh, move all of this exactly gonna be like this exactly and let me just fix the next safe zone which is gonna be uh, like this and the new level as I said before is gonna be 1800 uh 12.54 now let's look at where we can uh, keep the thread running actually this time this for the safety of our members and for the safety of everyone who is following and taking the signal i'm gonna select this support right here as my take profit level exactly right here this one why because there is a slight chance that the market actually after reaching that support level there is a slight chance that the market actually might rise a little bit more before continue the fall let me tell you my idea about the gold first of all let me just fix the new signal so the take profit has been changed to be 1784.50 so my idea about the gold is we're having right here a strong bearish momentum as we can see right here this downtrend and we are following this downtrend so we are expecting right now from the gold to actually reverse more to hit the exact same level of the previous resistance right here and also hit the same level of the resistance trend line before gonna continue the fall guys please it's always important to never enter these signals blindly always be sure that you are following the price action and you are following the momentum if the momentum was very strong due to some news or anything unexpected happened due to the uh, fundamental news or fundamental analysis then of course do not enter the signal by logic not just because Salah said that we can start short here it means that 100% this signal is going to be valid and the market going to continue the fall no 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 it doesn't work this way you cannot trade forex this way you have to be careful you have to be paying attention to the news always be careful that the market actually from technical view i would say that the gold should be good for the short right, right from here but however if that time the market has reached that level and the bullish momentum was really so strong then of course avoid entering the signal and just wait for the market to calm down before you decide to enter this trade so I really hope uh, it's gonna be continuing to be a very good week for everyone and so far I think it's a really good week and I'm very happy about it so in the end I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching